What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. In today's episode, I've got eight tips for beginners from NBA Live Mobile. So people who have just started the game, trying to figure out where they're going, what's the best direction to take. Just a few tips for you guys. First tip would be just improve your lineup a little bit of a, a little bit at a time. A lot of times people will see a lineup like this or even a lineup better than this and think, oh man, I need to get a lineup like that. And so they'll try to save all their coins for one elite player and then spend all their coins and have nothing to help them make more money with. So my first piece of advice would just be to buy gold players starting out, improve your lineup a little bit at a time, move from like a 73 overall to a 78 overall to an 83 overall until you get to the place where you can start making more coins, you get more used to the game, and you can afford elite players. My second piece of advice would be do not buy hoops packs to try to improve your team, especially at the beginning. So hoops packs are 15,000. I made this mistake when I first started out because I really wanted an elite card and didn't want to save up for them. Hoops packs are totally not worth it. I opened a million coins worth of hoops packs and I got two elite cards from it. So not a good way to get good players, not a way to not a good way to make money. The best your best option is just buying players from the auction house, especially until you get to the point where you can afford to buy elite players or make impact sets or stuff like that. Third tip for new players is just to autoplay season whenever you're doing something else and you can. So basically in the top right corner, there's a little play button that you press and it, your team just automatically plays. The majority of the time, your team will win most of the games. So you don't really even need to pay attention until you get to playoff time. It's super useful if you're busy and still want to get some progress in the game. And it also makes you a decent amount of coins starting out, uh, which also helps you with the fourth tip, which is to complete your achievements. So I think those have actually been nerfed a little bit since the game started, but they do give you a decent amount of coins. Let's see, we'll pause, save and exit, take a little look at our achievements. These are all the achievements that I've done. You can see you get different amounts of coins, different rewards for all the different achievements, and there's different ones for set, season, live events, head-to-head, -head, and whatnot. So that's a good way to make coins starting out as well. Um... Another good way to make coins, which is my fifth tip, is just to, you go to search, we're going to reset that and go bronze players that are by now for a max of 150. We're going to save and we're going to search it. And, okay, right now there aren't any. I literally did it five minutes ago and there were probably seven bronze players that had sold for between 100 coins and 150 coins. So start out just sniping those players, um, and then you're going to go to sets. Going to go over to upgrades and scroll down to bronze player trade-in. You can trade those players in for trophies. So worst case scenario, you get two bronze trophies, which will resell for at least 800 apiece. So 1,600, you made probably around 700 coins right there. Best case scenario you get two bronze trophies and those will sell for 4,500 a piece, actually more, probably 5,000 a piece. And right there you make, let's see, 5,000 a piece. So that's 10,000 for both of them. You spent 900 coins just getting them. So you made 9,100 coins right there. So that's a really good coin making method for beginners. Uh, tip number six is to check a player's price before selling them. So a lot of people, We'll just go to the auction house. They'll say, we'll reset price of 7,000 for any player 79 and over. So we'll see, okay, that's the general price that 79 sell for, maybe a little more. So I'll sell my Kyle Korver for a little bit less than that since he's a 77. But if you go and look, you'll see Kyle Korver cards actually sell for a good bit more than that. We searched for him at 15,000. And let's see, none of them are found at 15,000, which means he sells for even more than 15,000. So he goes for more than most players because he has a 96 three-point shooting. 
So you want to be sure to check your players' uh, price before you sell them, at least for most players. Seventh tip is going to be once you get more coins, try to snipe gold players to put into elite packs. So we're going to sort by gold and anybody. You can do 35 3500 and under if you have more patience. If you don't have a whole lot of patience, you might want to bump it up a little bit. But either way, you're going to be making coins if you can get those for cheap. And then also get your elite trophies to put into the impacts for cheap. And also you can search for impact cards. You search impact uh, type is elite collectibles and search for them under 20,000. You can get some of the lesser impact player cards for as low as like 5,000, but the decent players like Paul George, Russell Westbrook, their cards are usually going to be around 20,000. So that's a good way to start building those. I've done most of those. It also helps with the achievement for sets, which helps you to get closer to a 95 overall Russell Westbrook. My last, chi my last tip is just to watch my videos. Uh, I've got plenty of videos on everything from sniping to seasons to head-to-head -to -head and whatever else. So just be sure to watch those. I probably have anything you could possibly ask questions about. So check those out. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.